Hello, everybody. I hope you guys are having a great day. I wish the day comes. I wish that I last. I wish my portfolio on my channel lasts, that I can bring you good news when it comes to cryptocurrency, because it seems like everything that I'm putting out just happens to be shitty news. But at the end of the day, I have to report it. I have to call it as I see it. Cryptocurrency is in a heap, heap of trouble. Really, really shitty. All of this started with the collapse of Terra Luna. After Terra Luna, Three Arrows Capital. After Three Arrows Capital, Block 5, Voyager, Celsius, a bunch of other crypto exchanges. Now you have this massive dump of FTX and you would think this would be the worst of it. However, there is a massive, massive black cloud on the entire crypto space that can literally cause Bitcoin to drop to that 10,000 level. Right now, it's barely holding on to 16,000. There is a crypto lender called Genesis Lending. And Genesis Lending is a very, very unique case. Genesis Lending does trading, institutional lending, derivatives, and custody. Derivatives is like... Uh, options on steroids, trading, you know what that is, institutional lending and custody. But they're also something called a liquidity provider. So if you have a fund that allows you to earn money or you borrow against your funds, when it comes to cryptocurrency specifically, you need a liquidity provider. Genesis is the liquidity provider, the main liquidity provider, the number one liquidity provider for all cryptocurrency. For example, Gemini, which is a really large exchange. It has something called Gemini Earn, which is separate from Gemini Exchange. Gemini Earn is funded or liquidity provided by Genesis. However, Genesis Lending is also the liquidity provider for GBTC, which is Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. And Grayscale Bitcoin Trust is valued at $6.7 billion. And Genesis Lending is the liquidity provider for that fund, which means you can borrow against, you can borrow, you can lend, so on and so forth. And everything is done through Genesis Lending. I don't know how deep this goes because I don't have the actual paperwork in front of me, but this is all intertwined and it's extremely freaking scary because really this can take cryptocurrency off a cliff. I know you think this is the cliff, but it's not. And every time we get bad news, it's just like down, 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 right? Everything I just mentioned, it's like so fucked up. And it's just like, you don't know where this is going to end. So let me give you a couple of numbers. Genesis Lending lent $2.4 billion to Three Arrows Capital. Sucks, right? August, they laid off around 20% of their employees or 260 employees. They have $2.8 billion in active loans total in the market which is a decrease of 75% from 11.1 .1 billion just a year ago. Obviously everything was booming, so you're giving out more loans. Problem is a lot of these loans, for example, $2.4 billion to three hours capital, done. $8 million loan to Alameda Capital, and they had $175 million on FTX as deposits. That's obviously gone as well. They were looking for a $1 billion, $1 billion would it be dollar injection from investors. They went to Binance, uh, CZ of Binance, and he says, hey, I'm not going to do this because this is a conflict of interest. I'm not going to do it. They also went to Apollo Global. Apollo Global is a uh, exchange traded fund, like a venture capitalist, private funding. They're traded on the stock exchange. And we're waiting to hear back what they're going to say. It's really, really scary what's going to happen, you know, and Genesis Lending did stop lending, they stopped all withdrawals, and they came out with a statement. We have no plans to file bankruptcy imminently. Our goal is to resolve the current situation consensually without the need for any bankruptcy filing. Genesis continues to have constructive conversations with creditors, a Genesis spokesman said. Now, they have mad loans. They're the liquidity providers for all of these crypto companies, right? These the these traditional TradFi companies that just happen to use crypto. So if Genesis falls, what happens to all of those companies? If Genesis is the main liquidity provider, right? So essentially companies that borrow and trade and give interest, get interest from them. Imagine they're like the Federal Reserve almost of the prime banks. And then the prime banks is all of your smaller companies. It's really scary. Now, current state of cryptocurrency. The current market cap of cryptocurrency is just barely holding on to 800 billion. The other day I said we crossed over that 850 billion from nearly 
800 billion, and now it's just lower, lower, lower. We're currently up 1.5%, which is good. The total volume over the last 24 hours is just $67 billion. Of that, 4.9 billion is DeFi or around 7.3%. Guys, DeFi is decentralized finance. That's when people say, not your keys, not your cryptos. That's what they're talking about. This is DeFi. This is your own ecosystem of finance built on the blockchain. So it's usually between 5 and 10% of all the volume. It's really not that much of the crypto space. Only around 10% of crypto is being used as crypto was always intended to be. The rest of the 90% is just, they're saying crypto, but it's being used at TradFi, traditional finance, you know, type of ways. Bitcoin is holding on to 16,100. Ethereum now is currently at 1,100. They're both up one and 2% respectively for the last 24 hour period. BNB is just barely holding on to 260 at 263. If you go a little bit lower, Solana, Solana's done. Solana, I don't want to hear shit. This is just my opinion. But Solana's down another 18% for the last seven days and is currently trading at $11. It's so funny. I see a lot of YouTubers that are making fun of Solana and I'm not going to call anybody out, but it's so freaking funny. Literally, YouTubers were saying when Solana was like at $80, they're like, next stop, $1,000. I truly believe in Solana. It's going to hit $1,000 in six months. And now Solana is at $11 and everyone's shitting on Solana. It's so freaking funny. You know, like pick your cryptos, stick to your cryptos. Don't, don't be a D rider. You know what I mean? Do whatever you want to do. But at the end of the day, just be faithful to, to your project. Algorand man, not doing too good at all. 23 cents, 24 cents, really, really bad. And Hedera is just slow and steady, man. Hedera is at 4.6 cents, 0 0.046 cents. Guys, what's happening for the whole crypto market? This is not good. Nothing is good. We have no support, zero support, zero. The only thing that's propping up the entire crypto market is the regular economy. The fact that PPI numbers came on par, the fact that CPI numbers came in lower. We have a meeting coming up in December. We're going to see what the interest rate's going to be. Now, crypto is depegging from regular traditional finance. However, there is still that connection of what's happening in the world. The question is this. We were supposed to have a bull run in another year, year and a half. The question is, is there going to be a bull run or not? Honestly, I have no flipping idea. Is crypto going to survive? Yes, crypto is going to survive. Is it going to resemble what it is now? That nobody knows. It's such a double-edged sword. You need all these traditional finance instruments like the central exchanges, the lending platforms, things like that in order to propel the value of cryptocurrency. The value of cryptocurrency was so inflated with all of this that right now what we're seeing might be the actual real price of crypto, what it all should have been. Maybe crypto should have never ballooned to a $3 trillion market cap. Maybe it happened all too fast and it should just slow down. Maybe right now is where crypto should be. Maybe crypto should be at, you know, a $500 billion market cap. I don't know. I have no idea what it is. The point is, I'm very hopeful. I pray somebody's going to bail out Genesis Lending. I hope things are going to be different in the crypto market. It's very discouraging and it's very hard to speak about this because you see so much traditional finance bullshit that's happening in the crypto market. And now people are like, oh, crypto, crypto. It's not crypto. It's traditional finance manipulating crypto with the same thing that we're trying to get away from traditional finance. The whole point of Bitcoin was to get away from this greedy shit. And now we're revolving and literally swimming in shit like freaking pigs, like swine. We're swimming in shit when it comes to crypto right now. Anyways, guys, I apologize for not being able to give you guys good news. I apologize for not being able to be a rah-rah since boom -bah to the moon. I was never that guy. I'm going to give it to you hardcore facts. And right now we are in a very bad situation when it comes to crypto. I hope and pray, like I said, that one day I can get back to saying, hey, to the moon and have something legitimately to talk about. But right now we really do have a hard time. Also, if you look at the top 50 cryptocurrencies, probably only 10 of the top 50 deserve to be there. You have so many shit projects, no utility projects, straight freaking hype projects, including most certainly Solana. That should not be up there. It's pretty shitty if you ask me. Guys, thank you so much. Please give me the like, share, and subscribe. I know these videos don't do so well because everybody just wants rah rah his boom -bah videos. And I really appreciate my real ones that actually support me and actually watch my videos and watch me for that raw, uncensored, real deal, holy field type of content. Have a great day.